Today you are going to be creating a monster hand or foot that is creeping out from under your bed. You will begin to draw your monster's hand or paw or whatever it is on the back of your paper so that you can see your lines. Notice how I'm drawing part of the hand and then maybe showing that it also has fur. And if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal because this is the back. Then I will fold it in half so that I have two when I cut it out and begin to cut. This way I don't have to cut the same thing two times. Make sure that when you are cutting it is quiet cutting. You're being careful um, and using good craftsmanship when you are cutting. Um, notice how the line that I didn't want anymore I just crossed out and then I just make sure not to cut that line. When you're cutting, also making sure to turn your paper and, and always have your scissors pointing away from you. Once you have your two monster hands ready to go, you will get your black piece of paper to glue them onto. Now, we also can create what will be our bed. So this monster is hiding under our bed. You'll use another pattern paper um, to line up with the top of your paper to create and show like a blanket coming over your bed and then the monster's arms or feet are kind of creeping out of there. So your background paper is black, you'll write your name and class code on the back and then we will begin our gluing process. We will not use glue bottles anymore. Our glue will be in a container that we apply with a glue paintbrush. So you use the brush to evenly apply the glue around the edges of your shapes. You press it down on your black piece of paper. Um, and again, always just going around the edges. You never want thick glue. You don't want it too close to the edge where it's oozing out. Make sure you're being neat and careful. So your glue only goes around the edges. Place your um, monster arms or feet where you want them to go and press them down. And now I kind of noticed that I wanted them to be further apart, so I quick picked it up. Now I'm gluing on uh, the bed or the blanket, just going around the edge again. Now when I put this on, I'm careful to line this up with the top and edges of my background paper. And now I'll flip it over and give it a good massage. I would take about 10 seconds to really rub your paper and make sure everything is stuck down. Once you have the main part, uh, your bed, and your monster hands or feet or whatever they are, paws, glued on and massaged on, then you can add some fun details. You can use other papers. Um, my monster is obviously a girl because I'm a girl, so I'm going to add some fun fingernails to my monster. Um, I also uh, added a ring. Uh, my monster is going to be holding a piece of candy, so if your monster wants to be holding something, you can do that. Uh, the other thing you can do is draw on detail. So I decided I wanted a design on my monster's fingernail. So I took an oil pastel before I glued them on and I drew a design on the fingernails. Um, I also drew a design with oil pastel on my um, bed blanket that's hanging over that's yellow. Um, so you can use all the different papers oil pastels, different things to add small details. You can cut out new things uh, to add super fun details and collage these things on. Now just remember when you are gluing on smaller things, you do not need a lot of glue. So just um, use that little bit um, of your uh, glue on your paintbrush just to get a little dab of glue on those smaller pieces. And then once you have a few small pieces on, just make sure to give the back of your paper a massage so that everything sticks down. Only using a little bit of glue, never too much. And that paintbrush should really help you put just enough glue, never too much, on anything that you are collaging and gluing on. I can't wait to see what creative monsters you come up with creeping out from under your bed as you are imagining them. Think about a story to go along with your monster. What's your monster's name? Um, what kind of monster is it? Have fun!